Hey, what's up Shinkabas and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we want to talk about a question that was posed by a comment, uh, through a comment uh, from one of the, the, the YouTube's uh, videos. And the question is about, you know, uh, do beta glucan and vitamins, you know, or, or some of these uh, things, all these powder works. So as you can see, today's background uh, is a bit different. Uh, today we are actually in uh, Fukuoka, in Japan. Uh, having our family vacation, uh, we had some time, so I decided to make a video uh, from here. Um, and one of the things that I actually wanted to share with you guys in this video, you know, actually the long and short of this is, uh, I really thought about the the powder in terms of from a probiotic standpoint, I think that actually works in terms of um, aquaculture. So uh, there's a lot of uh, research paper being um, you know out there to actually share why some of this uh, prawn, you know, those prawns that we eat, uh, we actually have they are they actually use uh, probiotics uh, in in their aquaculture system, and one of the reasons is because uh, they get a lot of uh, bacteria, a lot of uh, virus that kills the, the, the prawn that we eat uh, through disease and, and things like that. And they have been using uh, antibiotic. I mean, it's very fairly common to actually use antibiotic uh, to actually kill off all the, uh, you know, the bacteria. And, and through, aqua, you know, through time, uh, the bacteria actually evolve and then they, met, uh, you know, they, they change and they evolve. Uh, which make them immune to certain types of uh, antibiotics. So, um, in terms of the effect or the the impact that uh, probiotics actually uh, has has some proven uh, research done that probiotics actually work. Uh, however, we must also understand that this is in large quantities and uh, how much it actually work. It's still debatable. So I think coming back to all this uh, from an aquarium trips trade standpoint, uh, in terms of bacteria viruses, it's not as prevalent. It's because we are not exposed to to nature. We are not exposed to a very cluttered or close up system, uh, whereby there's a lot of prawn or a lot of streams in the in the tank as well. So uh, when does uh, illnesses or bacteria or things start to multiply uh, rapidly is when there is a lot of and there's a overpopulation that there's too many streams or too many fishes in the tank and that's where things start to happen and if you ask me whether you no know, uh, i'm sure there's a lot of papers uh, written on beta glucan uh, which is also one of the things that has been researched on as well uh, there is a lot of uh, backing scientific scientific backing uh, that it actually works however you must also understand that uh, a lot of this research is done on prawns, which are much larger. Uh, you know, regardless of it, you know, prawn or stream, um, their intestinal or you know their their digestive tract or system uh, is rather straight line, meaning that once they consume, they actually pass it out far, uh, rather quickly, and that is the reason why the absorption rate in terms of uh, the, the the nutrients and and the things like probiotics and things like that are not so effective as it, it doesn't give the, the prawn or the stream enough time to actually absorb the sufficient nutrients that it requires. Uh, that's the reason why they, they keep foraging. They have to keep foraging and foraging because they do not have a stomach where they can store a lot of this uh, reserve. Uh, and that's the one of the things that we have to uh, come back and think about you know, in our tank. What should we be doing? Should we be you know adding things uh, in a tank rather than or, or should we be, you know, creating an environment for them? So there's a lot of uh, different ways to think about it, a different school of thoughts. Uh, so my thinking on, on this is that we create an environment, you know, whatever that we can do beforehand, meaning that the, the setup, the infrastructure, everything that is done before we put the water in and, and the streams in, uh, that is where we spend the most time because that is where we start to create the entire uh, infrastructure, the ecology, the ecosystem, uh, that is where we, we want to build that uh, environment for the stream that once the stream is in, we're going to leave it alone and let them uh, do what they are supposed to do. Uh, there's another school of thoughts on, on this as well, which means that they, they, they set it up, the, the environment, the tank and everything, and then they start to add 
things in like beta glucan they start to add in vitamins they start to add, add in bacteria powder they start to add a lot of this thing in 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 the, in the tank as well this is trying to enhance the uh, productivity of the stream at the end of the day uh, ornamental streams are not food streams so we do not require um, mass production in, in that sense is because uh, we, we don't need to, to feed the population. The, the whole intention and the whole idea of ornamental is actually for uh, as a hobby and it's not for food, food production. It is not something like, okay, we need to be cultivating crops and, and things like that to feed the, po the entire population. Uh, so the, the, the mindset and the perspective will certainly be different uh, from an ornamental versus a crop perspective. Um, so coming back to all this, uh, this powders and, and vitamins and, and, and all of this, I think at the end of the day, uh, you have to make a, 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 a decision because over time you'll realize that a lot of these products, uh, they, do, they do help uh, in, in that sense, but however, how much uh, is, is the ultimate question. Uh, is it being sold by value or is it being sold by fear? Fear meaning that if you don't add this, uh, your stream could die. So even if, even if you don't add things, the stream will also die. So there's a lot of school of thoughts behind the things that uh, we are doing. Um, so from my perspective is that we have to consider doing most of our things prior to adding the streams in. That is our perspective because I always believe that creating an environment is something that is, uh, you know, right from the beginning, we actually create and, you know, set up the entire ecosystem and everything so that once the streams are in then then we're going to leave them alone for them to breed and for them to reproduce um, so so Ray I think uh, in, in terms of your question whether is it <coughs> whether it does it really work um, from my perspective yes I've tried them before a lot of these powders in, in the market um, long story short is so I think that's where um, a lot of people tend to uh think that okay if my stream is dying i must be doing something wrong yeah probably you are doing something wrong however we also need to understand where and how do you actually start the entire ecosystem the the, the journey of the, the the streams as well so instead of trying to fix the problem meaning you keep adding things and adding things trying to fix the problem uh why don't we come back to scratch and then think about you know why don't we just uh, start everything right right from the start starting with you know the soil the cycle the waiting time and then you start to add in you know uh, your plants and, and things like that so there's videos to talk about the plants and, and the importance of it so I think that's where we want to come and think about you know should we be con concentrating or focusing on creating the right environment versus trying to fix an, an environment uh, so uh, there's two two different ways of uh, thinking uh, there's no one right way of course definitely it's up to you guys to to decide which path you actually want to take so ray i hope you uh got got some of this uh idea i understand that you don't think that it is necessary and that you know uh, as long as the water is within range and simple you have a simple setup which i'm always i've always been an advocate about uh having keeping things simple i think that's that's ultimately one of the best uh way forward so thank you guys for watching this video. For those who like this video, video, please remember to give a thumbs up. And for those who are new to this channel, please remember to subscribe. And until next time, peace out.